Meghan Markle is very unlikely to have written to King Charles III to ask him for a one-on-one -on -one meeting, royal sources have claimed. Earlier this week, royal expert Neil Sean claimed on his YouTube channel that he had heard from a very good source that Meghan had written a letter to Charles to ask for a private conversation with him. However, these claims have now been slapped down. Although neither Buckingham Palace nor the Sussexes have commented on the claims, royal sources told MailOnline that Meghan is not likely to have troubled the king while he mourns the death of his mother. Another royal source added that it would be odd for Meghan to write a formal letter to the king when Prince Harry could have contacted him directly. On Tuesday, King Charles and his wife Queen Camilla headed to Balmoral to mourn Queen Elizabeth II in private. Harry and Meghan are reported to have returned to their children in California on the same day. Therefore, with the king being exceptionally busy since the death of the queen, a meeting between Charles and his daughter-in-law is unlikely to have taken place. Since King Charles expressed his love for Harry and Meghan during his first address as king, he would not have been likely to ignore a request from the Duchess, if she had sent one, one of the royal sources added. On September 9, the day after his mother's death, Charles said in a televised address, first also want to express my love for Harry and Meghan, as they continue to build their lives overseas. The King's comments sparked hope that the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family could overcome the rift between them. Adding to this hope, a day later, Prince William invited his brother, who he has hardly spoken to in the past few years, and Meghan to join him and Kate on walkabout in Windsor. Mr. Sean claimed in a YouTube video that has so far gained more than 300,000 views, that Meghan wanted to speak privately with the King before her return to California. He said, shed now like before they return back to California to have a one-to-one -one audience with King Charles III. That's right, Meghan one-to-one -one with King Charles. You heard correct. It's a very brave move from Meghan herself. Mr. Sean added that Meghan wanted the alleged meeting to be an opportunity to clear the air, pull the rights from wrongs and explain some of the rationale behind what they've been doing over the last two years. Now, you know, you have to admire Meghan's self-belief, whatever you think. However, Mr. Sean said it was unclear whether the meeting would be enough to fix the relationship between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family. He said, truthfully, we have no idea if this is going to go forward. Tensions between Harry and Meghan have been strained since the couple stepped down from senior royal duties in 2020 and relocated to the U.S. Their relationship was further strained following a bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021, in which Meghan claimed that an unnamed member of the royal family asked her what color her son Archie's skin would be before he was born. Prince Harry is set to release a tell-all memoir before the end of the year, which is predicted to widen the rift even more. 